Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install Visual Studio Code on your Windows 11 operating system. So let's get started and let's see how we can do it. So first of all, open your favorite browser and search for Visual Studio Code. And the first link which will appear here will be from code.visualstudio.com. So we are going to click on this link. And this is the official page for Visual Studio Code. Here straight away, you can see this download button at the top and this download button here on this main window. So just click on any of these options. I'm going to click on this download for Windows option, which is going to start the download of the executable file. So you can see this download has been started. And once this uh, Visual Studio Code.exe file is downloaded, just click on this file and let me minimize my browser. And now you can see the setup for Visual Studio Code has been started here. Click on accept the agreement, then click on next. This will be the default location where Visual Studio Code will be installed. So if you don't have the good reason to change this location, just leave it as default and then click on next here. Then you have the start menu folder. So I'm going to leave it as uh, default and then click on next here. And then you have the select additional tasks. So if you want to create the desktop icon, click on this checkbox. And if you want to create all the associations, for example, add open with code action to Windows Explorer and add open with code action with Windows Explorer directory context menu, I'm going to check both these checkboxes and then click on next here and then click on install. At this point, you just need to wait for a few seconds until Visual Studio uh, Code is installing. So at this point, you just need to wait for a few seconds until this progress bar reaches to the 100% mark. And after a few seconds, uh, I can see this message which says completing the Visual Studio Code setup. And then here, just leave this checkbox as checked, which is going to launch your Visual Studio Code when you click on the Finish button. So click on Finish button, which is going to launch the Visual Studio Code. You can see Visual Studio Code has been launched. So now when Visual Studio opens for the first time, it's going to show you all these options, like you can uh, choose your theme. The default theme is Dark Modern in my case. You can change it to the Light theme here or the Dark High Contrast or light high contrast here. I'm going to leave it as dark modern here. And then you can also choose rich support for all languages, tune your settings. So you can do many other settings from here also. Once you are happy, then you can start working with your Visual Studio code. Now, if you close Visual Studio Code, you can always uh, launch Visual Studio Code by just clicking on this Windows icon. And then when you search for Visual Studio Code, you will see the Visual Studio Code app option. And when you click on this uh, Visual Studio Code option, it's going to launch Visual Studio Code. Now, once you uh, install Visual Studio Code, you can also open Visual Studio Code using the command line. So when you just search for uh, CMD in the search bar, you can see the command prompt option. So click on this. And once command prompt opens, just write code here and then press enter. And it's also going to launch Visual Studio Code, right? If you want to uh, open some folder, in Visual Studio Code using command line, then what you need to do is, so for example, what I want to do here is, let me open my file explorer here, and then under my desktop, I can see a few folders here, and I want to open this folder in Visual Studio Code. So you can also go inside this folder, right click inside this folder, and then click on show more options and you can see this open with folder option. And then you also have this open in terminal option. So when you click on open in terminal, it's going to open this folder in the terminal. So you can just click on open with code 
and Visual Studio Code will open that folder in Visual Studio Code. So you can see that folder has been opened in Visual Studio Code. Alternatively, what you can do here is you can just copy this path here and then go to your command prompt and then CD and then paste your path here and then press enter and then just write code space dot which is going to open this uh, folder in Visual Studio Code also. So this is how you can download and install and use Visual Studio Code on your Windows operating system. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.